I had two back-to-back -back concussions. The first one wasn't bad at all, but we noticed that after my first concussion, I kind of had some bad anxiety and had trouble like kind of eating outside of the house or doing certain things outside of the house. And it wasn't very restrictive, um, but then I got my second concussion and for that concussion, like I went to the hospital, it was months of rehab. I mean, I had to even like relearn how to walk without help. My anxiety became super restricting to the point where like I really couldn't leave the house. I wasn't fully functioning unless I was like in my room. I would get really depressed. Yeah, we had left um, the concussion land behind, we thought from eighth grade and we were starting freshman year and trying to come back to normal. And she worked so incredibly hard and physically was able to play volleyball again at a very high level. And I was really proud of her for doing all that. But then as freshman year started, all that kicked in. And, and then, you know, you start thinking, is this just general anxiety? It's freshman year, it's a big school, it's a big change or, and then all the little things, it's like, there's really something else going on. And, and then because of the concussions, we just didn't know we just needed like complete help because at this point to make her work again so hard without having a specific diagnosis and that's where the aiming clinic came in because the idea of having a brain scan to first say a hey, is your brain healed from the concussion enough where all the you know like therapies would help that's that's one question to answer that nobody could really answer for us and then after that what therapies do you do is it yeah. cognitive based therapy is it emdr is it all these things. So we just had all these questions and we had no time left to really do the trial and error, right? Well, let's try this and let's try this. It takes a lot of money and time to do that. And we had already gone through a lot of that. So I was kind of over it. Made the call. I had a friend who had been at Amen. I'd seen the TED Talks and videos and I thought, well, we need that kind of help. It was our job in Amen Clinic. We don't just treat the person, we treat everybody as a whole unit so everybody can feel relaxed and like like Stacey you said in other places you felt a roadblock because it felt like you had to take the responsibility and you had to drive the car but over yeah. here at Amber Clinic once you're here with us we drive it for you and we help you kind of take your brain health in your hands. You didn't want to just pop like give me a pill in order to fix a problem like you wanted to look at it very holistically so like can we medicate it can we treat it with food are the things we can implement in your diet or in your sleep patterns. And uh, I think that at first you guys were really nervous that it was just going to be, let's just medicate her and that'll be it. But in the clinic really helped treat my brain injury holistically just because they didn't go straight to just medicating. It was first, let's try vitamins. If that doesn't work, we're going to implement um, a new diet. And if that doesn't help, we're also going to work on your sleep. And if all that doesn't help, then we're going to medicate you and we'll go from there. You know, we came to Eamon for her, but stayed for me because, yeah. <laughs> because I'm like, I needed that too. We, I mean, we had already done a huge rehab that was very frustrating yeah. and exhausting. And we, and we knew that we were at an even bigger tipping point, but we didn't have anything left in the tank. I always felt like you brought a lot of positive into that conversation and you know, things that didn't matter, it was fine, it didn't matter. Whereas at this, you know, I at this point was like, no, we need to do everything because we're running out of time to make her better. And I gave up that mentality just by knowing that you you had a, a plan. And I was so comfortable just sitting back and being like, okay, I don't have to do that anymore. Because in the other process, I was managing everything. I was yeah. managing all the doctors and communicating between all of them, gathering the resources. Horrible. It was just, it was a lot. And finally I'm like, no, I actually have someone who understands all of that, knows how it all fits together as a puzzle. and even better than, than I could ever figure out. And I'm done. I'm just here to be a mom again, which is what, you know, you gave me that back. I'm, mm -hmm. I could be her mom. I just cannot believe that for someone who had misophonia and anxiety, double concussion, COVID, going through adolescence, came out on the other side. I, I never thought as a mom, I would see all that. And, I, and then once there, I never thought we would be on the other side in this place where I'm like, I don't worry, she's going to college next year. And I say this full sincerity too, as cheesy as this sounds, like, like Eamon really did, like it changed my life. I went from such a dark place mm -hmm. to a place now where I feel like I can help others because yeah. Eamon has helped me help myself.